thank you for tuning into Beanie TV. This is your girl Beanie. Welcome to my channel where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. I had to add the double sprinkle. Alright guys, so I have had to learn the very difficult lesson of surrendering. Surrendering to God, surrendering to source, surrendering to life, and kind of just saying, you know what? I've literally done everything I can do to achieve this goal or to change my life situation and to have it like ripped from underneath my feet it was only the only thing I could do was surrender and um, so like just to I guess give a small briefing like I was supposed to basically I was supposed to move out of my apartment and I didn't and I did I have been looking for somewhere a new place to live for so long like for a few months I've been looking for a place to live and I've been asking people and texting people and it's like I'm almost there and then I'm not and then when I finally thought I was oh my god I'm about to move like yes and then no and then like everything just came like crashing down like literally like two hours before I was supposed to move so that was like one of the first times where I was like you know what I looked, I texted, I posted, I put it out there, I I'm, I'm manifested, I visualized, I prayed, and yet it did not happen. So it's like, after that, you kind of just have to surrender and not give up, but just surrender and let it go. Surrendering just means that you're letting go of the expectation. You're letting go of the expectations that you had for a certain outcome you're 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 still open and you're flexible when you're surrendering you're flexible when you're not surrendering you're holding on tight to what you want to happen but that's not how life always works with certain things so what i have learned from surrendering is that um lisa nichols says this man's rejection is god's protection and what if I had moved into that apartment, there is something that would have happened that would have caused me more stress, more anxiety, more um, maybe financial restrictions. And God was really just like, you know, because God can see before you. God knows your life story. So God already knew, Abina, I'm going to protect you right now. Like, it's going to feel like crap. Uh, you're like going to have to unpack all your boxes, but... Um, I'm protecting you from something that is going to cause you harm and stress and whatever. And, and that's what it is. Man's rejection is God's protection. And that's with anything and everything in life. If you don't get something, that is just because you are being protected from something that might harm you or you're being, or you're, you don't, you don't know what you're going into. You don't know. So God is protecting you by not letting you even like step foot up in that door. You know what I mean? And that's like, that's a closed door. That's okay. There's a window that's going to be open for you when the time is right. And so with surrendering, I have learned man's rejection is God's protection. That God knows my life story. God wrote my life story. And some things I'm just not supposed to experience at a certain time. And that is okay. It hurts. For sure, it's okay if it hurts, it's okay if you cry, it's okay if you're mad, but just know it is always for your highest good. And what you think your highest good is, and what God knows your highest good is, though, like, you just have to trust God got you. You know, it might suck, it might hurt, but at the end of the day, your highest, you are receiving your highest good. And whatever that may look like, that's what it's going to be. So with that, I've just learned to like accept where I am. And that's another thing with surrendering is just accepting where you are and knowing that, okay, it's not that it's not happening ever. It's just not happening right now. It's going to happen soon. It's going to happen in the most amazing way. It's going to happen in the most easy, effortless way. And it's going to match all of your criteria, all of those details you have. It'll match that. At the perfect time 
like in God's plan for your life, in God's will. So surrendering, that is a lesson. That's a lesson to be learned because it's like humans, like we want it and we want it right now and we, we do everything to achieve it and we've been taught hard work gets you what you want. But sometimes you can do all the hard work, but if it's not for you, it's not for you at that moment. Not that it's not for you ever. Um, so surrendering, it's, it's, it's a thing. Like it's a, it's a thing. Like last week I had like a really hard week, but you know what? With surrendering, you learn to, you learn acceptance and you learn that everything happens for your highest good. And you learn that everything is going to be so freaking amazing so soon, just not right now. And that's okay. Focus on the good things in your life, you know? Focus on the good things. This didn't work out, but focus on the good things that you have going on in your life. Um, if you guys have stories of where you just like, you did every freaking thing and then it still didn't work out and you had no choice but to surrender, let me know that story in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Beanie TV. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Oh, so